Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you five tips and tricks when masking in HidFilm. <laughs> Trick number one, the double click. If you want to quickly and easily create a mask that basically comes to the very edges of your plane or video or picture, all you have to do is just double click. And when that happens, you will have instant mask. Right? If I want to do a rectangular one, then I double click using the rectangular mask tool as well. If you want to make that into a perfect square or this one into a perfect circle, then you just bring up your handy dandy calculator and calculate you, the aspect ratio of your video. 1080 divided by 1920 gives you 56 to 5. So if I open up this and I go to transform properties, and scale, I unlink the scale and I make the width 56.25%, then I will have a perfect circle. And that is the double click hack. Trick number two, box select multiple mask points. If I have the freehand mask tool selected, I can drag and box select multiple mask points. If I right click on a point, I can invert that selection to grab the other mask points. I can also right click and select all of them as well. And of course, I can manipulate those however I like. Trick number three, selection handle modifiers. If I were to grab box selecting, I can of course move those and adjust those around. If I grab a corner, I can scale those. If I grab a side, I can scale just the side or the vertical angle as well. However, if I hover over a corner point or a side point, then you can see you have selection handle modifiers. For example, if I were to hold down the shift key, now I have a freeform scale as opposed to not holding the shift key where the scale remains the same. Also, if I were to hold down the Alt key, I can rotate this way. If I were to hold down the Control key, then I scale from the opposite corner or from the opposite side. If I hold Shift and Control down at the same time, then I have a freeform ch scale change from the opposite corner or the opposite side. Trick number four, pay attention to the mask colors. Did you know that all of the masks have different colors and they are delineated right here in the mask property under the item that has the masks on them? If you have multiple masks, then there will be multiple colors and each color will be represented in the mask itself on your viewer window. You can change the color simply by clicking on it and selecting a different color. If I decide I can I can do this over multiples or I can select each one individually and change the colors of the masks that way. This can be very, very helpful in terms of quickly being able to see which mask you want to affect. And trick number five, only use your invert button on the top mask layer. So if you are going to make this a subtract mask, don't set the top layer as a subtract. It doesn't work. Instead, leave it as add and instead invert that top layer. Don't ever mess with the inverts of any mask below the top mask. Instead, use the subtract drop down menu item. And here's a bonus trick how to create a border using any one of your mask tools, you can create a mask. And then if you right click and duplicate that mask, you can set the second one to subtract. And then with either of the masks, by simply adjusting the expansion, you can create a border that is of any shape. And using the fill color, of course, you can make it any color that you want it to be as well. Very quick and easy to create a border of any style you like. And those are a few tips and tricks on using masks in HitFilm. If you have any questions, please do me a favor and leave them in the comments below. If you like this kind of material, 
Definitely feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon for notifications, share it with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.